I have now the pleasure to explain the Blister Expert BE4. This is our technical machine which we have here for demo runs and trial work. And I would like to explain the process by walking through from A to Z. First element is the forming foil unwinding setup. On the trolley cart we can present rolls up to 800 mm diameter which are then presented to a splice table where you can cut and uh, straight prepare a splice between roll end and new roll. The next element is the forming station. It starts with heating here for a thermoforming format and then upward forming the cavities which are then presented into the dosing section. The best is if you open the door in the dosing section. You will see the light has changed from blue to red. This is a status light throughout the entire length of the machine. Per every zone, the operator gets indication where to act. But go back to our feeding elements. The Godard hopper uh, takes a reservoir of tablets and then um, spreads the tablet over a sieving mechanism into the vibrating bowl feeder, where the tablets via format path are guided into the web. Last element is the servo-driven drum, which receives the tablets and presents them in this continuously traveling web. Following items are a web cleaning brush, a product height detection, and certainly a camera system not yet installed on this machine. Ceiling is the next. Lid foil is coming from an unwinder from here, the right of the machine. Lid foil is passing through the machine, safely always under cover, and then presented to this section where we can align the print by stretching off the web. Two servo-driven draw of rollers are aligning the web uh, following the print mark and the cavity's position. Once this is completed, uh, the drum of the ceiling system is taking over. It is transferring the web continuously and the upper hot ceiling drum is closing the blister by thermal sealing. This large diameter of 300 millimeters is more than 50% increase to our previous generation and it also allows critical handling of larger cavities. Once the web is cooled sealed, it is presented to the next zone where we cut out and perforate the blister. Different stations are possible to configure in our modular concept. This is here, for example, an embossing station, could also be the position for inkjet printing, perforating of the blister, and then surrounding of the web through the cutting station. Servo-driven stations are positioning the web always precise into the perforation or the cutting, and then two blisters are cut out at a time. Before we can present them over to the cartoner, the reject station um, can receive completely empty blisters or partially filled blisters. Blisters which are good are placed down into two servo-driven belts, centrally adjustable to different widths, very fast and easy, and are so staged into a single lane and transferred over to the cartoning system. The next element is already the first element of a carton, a hand-loading magazine for blister replenishing. But let's start the machine and see some moves of the cycle speed. I have to close the doors first, and then start the machine for you. Yeah, let's uh, see some sequences from the former changeover. I would like to show you how easy it is to uh, replace the guide rail. You go to the service menu, disactivate the fixation of the guide rail, and then you would need to open the access parts which are in the way, take the web out, and see how easy it is to remove, remove the guide rail. And of course, the same works vice versa. If you bring the format part back, you lay it on the rear reel, bring it in position, Web back, put a tight inspection back, and you reactivate the fixation of the guide rail. Now let's see how easy it is to exchange the seal tool. We go back to the service menu, release the tool, which is happening by pressurized water in the cooling drum. The pressure is now off, and I can. Remove the seal drum easily. Same way back into the machine. I position it here carefully. Okay. 
yeah, the, the fixation of the web in our fast intermittent area is also very easy. Two buttons to release the pressure of the drawer system and the web is free and you can pull it out of the machine and remove it from this section. We have now arrived at the cartoning section of our blister line. This is a P2 cartoner designed for up to 150 cartons per minute. Let me open the covers for you that we can see the process in more detail. You can also remove this and lift it up for better access. But back to the process. Blisters are arriving from the pre-connected blister machine between two servo belts, uh, driven belts, we transport the blister safely in between fingers to the stacking group. The first blister arriving is lifted up by the blister stacker. The next follow, we place the first one on top of it and repeat this process that we have the right count of blisters we want to have in the carton. The carton comes from a long magazine. It's uh, separated here with a patented mechanism to signalize the first box from the magazine content. The carton wheel is grippers to take Picking this carton, over breaking it, forming it, and placing it here between an upper and lower carton transportation belt. Throughout the length of the machine, several process steps happen now. The built uh, stack is inserted into the carton, side flap folders are closing the side flap, followed by the uh, main tuck enclosure for the tuck in um, mechanism. Tuck enclosure is the most common process of a uh, carton closure style, but you see plenty of space is left free in this machine. For further features. This, this could be a carton closer with hot melt or printing with print inspection by camera. The last control system is here. It is the sensor to detect an open flap. By a late barrier we could see producing elements of the carton and so decide that closure has taken place successfully. Only good cartons are placed outside to the downstream equipment. Bad cartons are released into a faulty bin. Another proof of the flexibility of our concept, uh, given by the modularity, is how we can configure the machine in a different appearance. This is a BE-8. Very similar components are used, but we have a machine with now a much more comfortable zone one, where the bottom material is coming from a card. A buffer box allows the splice of the material on the fly, and in a vertical arrangement, heating, thermoforming, or in this case, cold forming. A large cavity is cold formed, fed with special feeding equipment and treated in the same manner like we studied before on the BE4. Uh, alignment of the tablets, cleaning of the web, product height detection followed by camera inspection and then this roller ceiling with the same features on all of our models. The large cavity web is transferred to the blister cutting section. Finally we have perforating, blister cutting and transfer of the packs out of the bag. I will allow um, an impression of the machine and start it for you running. 